All right, let's take a quick look at the copy and paste up uh, fire and heat ice and fire whatever the shit it is it's a copy and paste update this is most likely the filler patch before november or maybe december there's always two patches in like the winter area and this one is unfortunately a little bit of copy paste there are some things in the files that might indicate that there's more on the way and i'm obviously only going to be looking at air content here's the an a1h looks kind of interesting i'm gonna be taking it out here in a second it does not have any skins but what it does have is an absolute astronomical amount of payload options. And yes, you can make your own loadouts right here. Now this might look like it's a lot. And it is. And the plane itself, it handles a little bit sluggish. It is not very fast. It goes about 580 on the deck. But that is something I wanted to show you in terms of the lift that it has. It's absolutely ridiculous. And that's really all there is to it. This is going to be an attacker. The fact that this is all like off to the right one thing is kind of annoying me. But I do wonder if I put this... Okay, it actually does work. No, it doesn't work. Why, why is this a thing? Well, thank you very much, guys. It is asymmetrical right now. But that's basically the AN1. Let's take it out for flight very quick. And as you can see, we are going about 570 kilometers an hour. And it might look like we're flying downwards. That's because we are... The lift of this thing is absolutely ridiculous, as you can tell. The turn rate, I mean, you can see it's not great. And look at that speed bleed, it is pretty bad. I mean, it's an attacker. I'm, of course, going to be taking it out as a fighter, with probably way too many gun pots on the wings. But it does seem like it's not that great sustained. However, this thing, with the amount of lift that it has, it might not have the most amount of energy. But this is one of those planes that can probably keep pitching up indefinitely. I'm not sure if this is final. The lift of this thing is pretty good. Let's look at the landing flaps. Because this thing does leave the ground at like 170 kilometers an hour without flaps. So it might be a good addition. You do have flares. You drop two at the time. But you know, it's, it's an attacker. We're not going to expect too much from it. But hey, having way too many gun pods on a plane like this. It might be a good plan to just spray at the Junker 288 with. Coming out of it, Germany gets absolutely nothing this, or at least this first iteration of the dev server. The same goes for USSR. We have found some things in the files, but I will round up the rumors at the end because I want to get the facts out of the way. First, Britain also gets absolutely nothing in the first iteration. Japan gets something, however it's a little bit... Too late. The T2 early. This is a plane, or at least Japan needed a top tier premium. The Jazzdav, I mean, let's be honest, it's not the greatest. At 9.0, it's alright. You can actually make it work. But they needed a rank 6 premium because this grind was absolutely atrocious. And now they finally add something that's actually quite alright. It's a T2, the exact same one as this one. And you can tell by the stat card as well, nothing changes. And the stat card is mostly not something to really go by. However, when the two stat cards are absolutely identical, it's very safe to say most of the time that they are basically the same vehicle. 3100, 3100. It's the exact same plane. You are, don't have any skins just yet. Does it have any payload options, you might ask? It does have some. It's not the best, but you can create your own. So if you are interested in doing that, then be my guest. But the main issue with this vehicle is it's going to be in the same boat as the main T2, and there is a reason I haven't made a video on this thing in a very long while. The T2 is missile bait. It's fast, it doesn't turn particularly well, it does have good AOA and it can sit like on your 6 and stand on its engine, so it's a little bit like a trade-off with the F-104. But with the way this plane handles and with the way it turns in place kinda, and I'm not saying that it turns well, I'm saying it kinda hangs in place when it's turning, you are missile bait. Even when the enemy has AIM-9D. So now with the SU-25s and with the A-10s flying around. That can lock you from like 4 kilometers away. In like a side aspect. Uh, you're not going to have a great time in this. I will be taking it out for a video. But I'm truly not looking forward to it. This is going to be a little bit of a better Milan. Sure. However it's not going to be as good as the Milan. In terms of bombing I think. Well it has 5 Milan. Well, it's, it's about the same I guess. But for a fighter... I'm not looking forward to flying this because you are simply flying a missile bait. China also gets nothing. Italy 
also gets nothing. France gets nothing. And then we arrive at Sweden, which is the quote-unquote main event of this patch. However, basically everything that's been added is already in the game. Apart from this thing, and we're going to take a look at it in a second, but... Yeah, so let's take a look at the Fokker D21 first. We misclick. No skins, but you might notice something here. It's um, it has uh, 60 rounds per gun on the uh, yeah on the 7.7s. This should be fixed. This is the same model as the 20 millimeter on the premium one right now. So I am expecting that to get fixed. It probably will get the same round per gun as this one. Time will tell. It's not a great plane, but it's 1.7, it's a lower BR, it's not premium. So if you are a Dutch fan, and my condolences if you are, feel free to pick out the Fokker. And then we arrive at the Junker 88. And you might think, oh, the A4 is a plane that we don't have in the game yet. Well, I got news for you, you're wrong. It's unfortunately the one in the bracket. It's the A4 and the A1, but the A4 we already have in the game. So this is really going to add absolutely nothing. Let's take a look at it. I don't have it yet, so let me actually order it so we can look at the skins. We don't have any skins. It's again the same plane, and it's the same, probably going to be the same loadout as well. Knock yourself out with this. I mean, I don't think many people are going to be taking this out, but hey, it's another addition. And considering the grind for the Swedish is kind of annoying, like there is not much to take here. I'm not going to say that this is a great pick. The B18s are probably still better, but I, I'm not entirely sure. If you want to kill all the fighters... B18, definitely. If you want to fly like a heavy fighter, this gun, the 13mm, is so damn good. And so are the gunners. However, the 88 actually does turn quite well. So it's a bit of a trade-off. But, I mean, you, you get like, what, a 7mm in the nose? Yeah, one 7.89. Don't recommend it. Just keep flying the B18s. Probably the best bet here in this BR bracket. Unless, of course, you got the Fokker, which is also not great. But at least this one has 20 millimeters with the same round per gun as this thing does in terms of 7.7. And then we arrive at a plane that's kind of copy-paste, but an addition I'm actually somewhat okay with. Now, sure, I would have rather seen this in a different nation, like maybe Italy, but probably Germany. But it's the 109G2, and you might notice there's no trop behind it. Italy already has this plane. However, it is a premium vehicle. And Germany also has it in a premium way. However, it is hidden. Germany has the G2. The main line is the G2 TROP. Now you might think these two planes are identical. However, the TROP variant has some filters in here. Which makes this plane slightly worse. The G2 regular has slightly more power output. Now sure when you look at the engines here. The boat 1422. But trust me. The power output on the G2 is actually higher. And you will see this in the stat card as well. Let me actually take the gun pods off. Because that's going to give a little bit of a cluttered view. But it has something to do with the air intakes. Because of the, the dust filters for the African sands basically. So this thing puts out slightly less power. So this thing is slower. It climbs worse. Other than that the airframe and all that kind of good stuff. So if you are going the same speed it turns the same. The only difference here is the engine. So it's a little bit... Weird that they add this to the Swedish line. It does make my life easier when I have to review it. But I'm, I don't exactly agree with it. We finally do get a G2 that's not a premium version. So that's good, I think. But I think to put it in the Swedish tree is a little bit weird. Then we arrive at the Vampire FB52. Now we have it in the lineup here. We also have the A28. So let me put that in here. Are they the same? They are. Now the only difference here is that this one gets the Hispanos and this one gets the Akan 20mm. And myself, I prefer the Akans when it comes to Hispanos. I'm, I have a harder time aiming the Akans and I'm not entirely sure why because the guns are basically the same. Might have something to do with the tracers, I don't know, it puts me off. But these two planes... Yeah, they don't differ anything. It does have a nice skin, I do prefer the, the silver. Opposed to the, the green. I'm not a fan of green. And you should know this if you are on my Discord server. But other than that. These two planes will be exactly the same. Payload options. Yeah not much here. But it's the same thing for this. I mean you don't really have much here. But you have bombs instead of rockets. I mean you have bombs and rockets. So feel that. Take take whatever you like. Also I have a screw. And not even a goddamn. I'm not even spaded. Thank you for adding stuff afterwards. 
So let's look at the last vehicle of the day. It is going to be the J34. And you might think 9.3, it's a hunter and it's a hunter with missiles. You are correct. Does that mean that it's the same as the FGA9? And I have unfortunate news. I'm blind as hell. Where is it? Thank you very much. So the FGA9 here. Oh, now it won't show me. Please. I'm going to lock. Oh, well. Let's go back here. The J34. It's uh, a Mark IV Hunter, if I remember correctly. And this thing has slightly less power. It's in between the Hunter FGA and the Hunter F1. So at 9 point, is it better than the Hunter F1? Sure. Should it be a higher BR than the Hunter F1? Perhaps. But looking at the BR right now, like it's better than the FGA, better than the Hunter F1. But it's no one near the power of the FGA. So I don't think this deserves to have the same battle rating. But you know, I don't know how this is going to perform. I can take it out real quick. Just so you can see. Fuel loads are not that diverse. And there's one thing I am actually somewhat worried about. Because I actually forgot to test this. But I just remembered. It has tracers. Would you look at that. So. Let's take this out for a quick spin. 4.450 for fuel. That's not great. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Taking 17 minutes in a plane like this. Is probably going to get your ass kicked. So. Do you want to take full fuel on this? Seven, like 14 minutes is probably a bit too heavy because it's still a hunter. So you're basically getting a knockoff FGA. I think the FGA 9 is one of those planes that shouldn't be only a premium. I think it was great that they added another hunter that was actually competent. However, then putting it behind a paywall. And then when they add something that's quite similar, they gimp it. it sure, it's just, it's still an... Uh, still a hunter it's not going to win any prizes it's it's not fantastic it doesn't turn particularly well it's still a hunter that's that's all i can say and i'm not sure how it was in real life but looking at this thing at like 600 kilometers an hour i mean the turn rate isn't exactly stellar what is nice is the retention of course it does hold its speed exceptionally well and then the issue is of course these missiles they're not particularly great of course, when there's a MiG-15 900 meters ahead of you that's flying straight and not really paying attention because he's a literal bot, then sure, you can make these you can make these things do do stuff, I guess. But in general, it's a hunter. Is there really much more to say? I think if they added an FGA-9, that would be nicer. I think that could actually get some things done. This thing, together with the T2. They're basically dead on arrival. This thing is going to face SU-25s every single match. And you already know what happens. Oh, it gets the Aidens, that's why. So it might still get the different cannons. I'm not sure if it does, considering this one has the Hispanos. Mm, someone will have to correct me on that. I'm not sure if this one and this one as well will remain the British cannon counterparts. Or if it will get changed to this. Because I'm not sure how Swedish or the Finnish actually ran the military. But yeah, that's basically all there is. There are some things in the files. So we noted some buttons for an F-16. Uh, we have no idea what nation yet. And we have no idea if it's going to come this patch. Or if it's going to come in a different one. If it might come in the one in December. Or maybe it won't come at all. And it's simply just them trying stuff out. And I ran also into some files on the MiG-23... Yeah, Dutch numbers are like... Switched, so it, it fucks me up sometimes. But yeah, so we found those two. Are they going to be added this batch? We got no clue. There are some things in the files as well. We have the 109G6 coming in as well. Just a normal one, so a non-premium. We have a Hurricane Mark 1 late. We have the B239... That's also for finish. And then I think that is about it for about uh, the rumors roundup. Basically, there is not much coming out in this patch. But we should be expecting that considering this two patches going to be at a very quick succession. So you're probably going to be looking at one near the end of October, maybe the start of November. This is not info that I have. This is just my, my speculation. Because you guys always like to ask for that. I don't think it adds much to the discussion. But maybe I can actually guess it right for once. So, am I excited? 
not really. I mean, it's uh, there's not much here that's to be there's anything to be excited about. So we will see. I'm kind of uh, wondering what we will get in the the late winter patch. I'm really looking forward to getting something new that's actually interesting. And F16 would be a nice addition. That's like the era where I start where I start caring about the planes again. Because funnily enough, the planes I cared the least about in the entire history are the Phantoms, the F104s, and the MiG-23s. And those are probably the three jets that are the most prevalent in the game right now. Because we have one, two, and then we also have three, F4C. Then we have two over here, which is five, four and five. And Russia gets none, British gets two, so that's seven. Japan gets two, that's nine. China gets none, Italy gets none. Swedish get none, but Israel also gets one. There we go. And then we go for the big 23s. That is three of them in the German line. We have the MLA, the MF, as well as the BN. Russia gets like two of them, I think. Yeah, that's five. You know, it, and now we might get another one. And then F-104s, there's like 20 of them as well. So, I uh, will have to see. Um, I don't really want another MiG-23. I'd rather get a new plane, like maybe a MiG-29 with some basic missiles. Is the game ready for that? I have no idea, but at this point, top tier is completely fucked anyway. So I'd rather just see cool stuff at this point. So I can fly something out that I actually like looking at. But without further ado, I am going to be wrapping it up. Thank you all for watching. Everything will be timestamped in the description. If I didn't, um, make sure to remind me in the comments below. So thank you all for sticking around. And I will see you all with the next Dev server probably. <laughs>